Is it time to buy or sell iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into iShares 20 plus year treasury bond. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, the 5th of August, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since July 25, 2024, our system has assigned the iShares 20 plus year treasury bond a hold or accumulate rating with a score of zero. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Over this period, the stock has exceeded our expectations, achieving a gain of 7.08% since we initially recommended purchasing the iShares 20 plus year treasury bond just eight days ago. This results in an average return of 0.88% per day since it was designated as hold or accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system expects high volatility and risk for the upcoming trading day. Given the latest developments, we cannot predict the stock's next direction, as it may move in either direction. The Exchange Traded Fund has broken the weak upward trend in the short term, indicating an even stronger rate of increase. Any potential pullback will find support at the resistance level of $96.93, which could provide a second opportunity for significant gains. According to fan theory, $102.35 is anticipated to be the next potential peak level, representing a resistance that may not be surpassed on the first attempt. The current three-month trend suggests a potential change of approximately 4.44% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 3.27% to positive 2.46%. In terms of the 12-month trend, it indicates a change of about 1.03% over the next 12 months, with a potential return between negative 14.53% and positive 3.42%. This translates to a price range between $84.45 and $102.18 and after a year. Our latest daily update for iShares 20 plus year treasury bond includes the headline, Green Day on Monday for iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF after gaining 0.529%. The iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF price gained 0.529% on the last trading day, Monday, the 5th of August, 2024, rising from 98.28 to 98.80, it has now gained for eight consecutive days. It is quite rare for ETFs to achieve such a streak, and a few down days should be anticipated. During the last trading day, the ETF fluctuated by 2.08% from a low of 97.90 to a high of 99.94. The price has increased in eight of the last 10 days and is up by 6.64% over the past two weeks. Volume has also increased on the last day alongside the price, which is a positive technical indicator, with a total of 6 million more shares traded than the previous day. In total, 90 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8.89 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $100.57, and the lowest price was $82.42. Currently, the price is 1.76%, or $1.77 below the 52-week high, and 45.02%, or $80.90 below the all-time high on the 9th of March, 2020, when the price reached $179.70. Recession fears have intensified on Wall Street, particularly following a disappointing job report from the United States 
that has led to significant sell-offs in the stock market. This environment has sparked a surge in demand for safe haven assets, positioning TLT, the iShares 20-plus year treasury bond exchange traded fund, as a preferred choice among investors. Over the past two weeks, TLT has experienced a robust increase of over 7%, reflecting its strong performance amid the market turmoil. Market analysts predict that TLT could encounter resistance around the $100 to $100.5 range and may possibly challenge $109 later this year. The Federal Reserve's shift in focus to labor market dynamics suggests the potential for aggressive interest rate cuts extending into 2025, which could further support TLT's upward trajectory. In the short term, as investors adopt more defensive strategies due to current uncertainty, TLT may continue to benefit from this flight to safety. Additionally, with the S&P 500 declining for several consecutive weeks, investor sentiment is increasingly leaning towards Treasury bonds as a refuge. Long term, if recession fears persist and the Federal Reserve continues on a dovish path, TLT could establish itself as a key player in a long-term investment strategy, reinforcing its appeal as a stable income-generating asset during volatile economic periods. Overall, TLT's outlook appears positive, driven by macroeconomic factors and shifting market dynamics. The following signals have been identified for iShares 20-plus year treasury bond. The iShares 20-plus year treasury bond ETF is showing buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, which suggests a favorable outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal indicated by the relationship between these two averages, where the short-term average is positioned above the long-term average. Should there be any downward corrections, support is expected at levels around $95.36 and $93.50. A drop below either of these levels would trigger sell signals. A buy signal was registered from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, July 24, 2024, and thus far, the stock has risen by 7.95%. Further increases are anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Moreover, a buy signal has also emerged from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or EMACD. Volume is increasing alongside the price, which is regarded as a strong technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal nine days ago. Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal eight days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal eight days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, buy signal four days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal eight days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, buy signal 31 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to discover more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for iShares 20-plus year treasury bond iShares 20-plus year treasury bond finds support from accumulated volume at $98.28. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. Generally, this exchange-traded fund tends to exhibit very controlled movements, and with good liquidity, the risk is considered very low for this stock. During the last day, the exchange-traded fund moved $2.04 between its high and low, or 2.08%. Over the last week, the exchange-traded fund has had a daily average volatility of 1.17%. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for iShares 20-plus year treasury bond. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, iShares 20-plus year treasury bond encounters its first support level at $98.28. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. 
Our recommended stop loss is set at $94.43, which reflects a decrease of 4.43%. This exchange-traded fund exhibits low daily fluctuations, contributing to a lower risk profile. Additionally, there is a buy signal indicated by a pivot bottom established 13 days ago. Is iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF a good investment? iShares 20 plus year treasury bond shows several positive indicators. However, these do not seem sufficient to classify it as a buy candidate at this time. Currently, it may be better viewed as a hold or accumulate option while we await further developments. After evaluating the volatility and price movements from the last trading day, our analysis suggests that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Tuesday, the 6th of August, we anticipate iShares 20 plus year treasury bond to open up 7.83 cents and begin trading at $98.88. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. Your investment decisions should not be based on stockinvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with best regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.